Home to these companies and many more is Lexington, Kentucky, rated a top five city for business and careers by Forbes magazine, the 48th best city in which to live in the entire world by Mercer Consulting, and a top seven city for locating a company by business facilities. As you will soon see, Lexington can provide a highly trained productive workforce, central location, and the pro-business environment needed to make your business a success. The best advice I could give to somebody thinking of bringing a headquarters here is, hey, I do it again and again and again. Lexington is a very special place. We have an interesting combination of business and UK provides educational opportunities for a number of scientists, engineers, mathematicians, and technicians of one type or another. We have 13 institutions of higher education in our region. You can find a real offering from private, small colleges to the big universities like the University of Kentucky or Eastern Kentucky University or Transylvania University. I started two companies with most of my employees coming from the university. So I've seen how strong our students are, how strong our faculty are, and how strong they can be when they become employees. When people ask about the ease of doing business and the ease of transportation and the ease of access to the rest of the country, Lexington and Kentucky, in fact, is so central. You have a geographic location that is superb for getting out to the rest of the the country and the rest of the world. We have a north-south, east-west interstate system. Lexington's within a day's drive of about two-thirds of the nation's population. Getting trucks in and getting trucks out, it's so easy. Bluegrass Airport provide uh, excellent connections around the world and throughout uh, the United States. It's so easy to get to Chicago, it's so easy to get to the Midwest, it's so easy to get to the South. You can fly out and you can connect at uh, most any major airport in the U.S. in a short period of time. Regardless of where in the world you're going, it's easy to get there from here. The arts and cultural offerings here are really surprising to a lot of people. Certainly having the presence of the University of Kentucky brings a certain element of arts and cultural activity that you normally might not find in a town the size of Lexington. We have a burgeoning community of performing artists and people who are engaged in a whole array of artistic endeavor from dance to sculpture to performing arts of all kinds. But you can find museums. We could go to plays and shows not only on the university campuses but within our own community at the Opera House or UK Singletary. Or we could go to a, a worldwide act that was playing down at Rupp Arena. So Lexington is a fun place to be when you're not working as well. I think the University of Kentucky has a lot to offer any company that comes to Lexington. We've really addressed an attitude of wanting to reach out to companies that are in the area. The University of Kentucky has a technology transfer of many things from research and from the lab. They can be put in place out into the community and can become viable businesses. And we have that nurturing environment for high tech. We do about 300 plus million dollars worth of research every year. Many companies today can't afford to do a lot of basic research. They're in such tough competition that they have to do product development and ship that product. We can be at the front end helping them look at nanotechnology, helping them look at lean manufacturing techniques, several things that they could call upon us to do at a lot lower price tag than putting those operations within their companies. If you come to Lexington, you will get an employee base that really wants to be a part of something. They want to be loyal they want to help grow your enterprise. Where else can you find access to education, access to technology, access to transportation, access to the most beautiful countryside in the world, the bluegrass? It's a complete package and uh, I couldn't be mayor of a greater city.